tonight. So oh, we'll yeah. turn things over to Allison Gargero. Allison, it just seemed like today just got all muggy and weird. gray. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't really see the sunshine. No, I, it was weird. We definitely don't see conditions like this usually in July, and that's because we were tracking one final push of tropical moisture making its way into the county. So we started off the day with that thick cloud cover, and then as we headed into the afternoon hours, some scattered showers making their way through the desert mountains as well as in the valley, and that's exactly what we are seeing right now. Some rain showers just to the east of Bakersfield as well as up in Delano and Lost Hill. So that green color that you're seeing, well, that's going to be light rain, and then we are where we are seeing the yellow and red. Well, that's moderate to heavy rainfall, and we could be seeing isolated thunderstorms popping up, which could be bringing cloud to ground lightning and very gusty winds with the potential for some heavy rain as well. But due to this thick cloud cover, temperatures down across the board from what we were seeing this time yesterday, down 14 in China Lake, down 11 in Ridgecrest, and down 16 in Kernville, and that's all due to the sun not being able to heat the ground. So we were seeing temperatures in the triple digits yesterday in the desert, and we were only seeing the 90s there as we head into this afternoon. But this green color that you were seeing on your screen, well, is a flash flood watch in the Kern County mountains and desert because with any of those isolated thunderstorms that we are tracking could be bringing some flooding in some of the lower line areas. So just make sure that you are keeping that in mind. If you do see it raining in your area, make sure to be checking out for that potential for flooding, but high pressure is going to actually be retreating over the four corners. So that means all of that wet monsoonal moisture that we've been tracking all this week is going to be pushing off to our north and to the east. That means drier air is going to be making its way into the county. So we are going to be seeing some high thin clouds by 8 a.m. tomorrow, but then as we head into the afternoon as well as for your Saturday, clear skies, and that means the intense heat is back. We will have another day of air quality that is unhealthy for sensitive groups with an AQI of 122 tomorrow. But let's talk about highs as we head into the weekend up to 105 on Saturday, 108 on Sunday, tracking an excessive heat watch. But that could be continued into Monday as well because we have a forecast forecasted high of 106. And then we are going to be seeing those triple digits continue as we head into the later portion of next week. 97 with sunny skies in the Kern River Valley tomorrow, 89 into Hatchby and in those upper 80s in Fraser Park. But it is definitely going to be a hot one. So make sure that you keep checking the cooling centers to see if they are open in your area as we head into the weekend. It's going to be intense heat out there. Yeah, absolutely. Not one that you want to mess around with. No. Take it seriously. It's very, very hot mm -hmm. and heat stroke in uh, the other one. The overheating can yeah. really set in yeah. very, very quickly. Yeah, and you don't even yeah. know. Dehydration yeah. too. Just yeah. keep mm -hmm. the fluids going. All right. We'll